The road to carbon neutrality is not going to be an easy one. That's why along with your small passenger vehicles, these big commercial vehicles will also have to go the green way. And the first one to go that way in its category is the Volvo Aisha Pro 2055. What's so special about it? How much is the range? How much will it cost to run? We'll tell you all about it in this video. Welcome to Car and Bike. Pro 2055 is already on sale in a diesel guise, but this EV version is supposed to take the cargo to the nooks and crannies of the cities at a very low cost and in utter silence. It's a 5.5 ton truck that has a 12 feet high container that can carry a payload of 2.2 tons. Before we move on to the specifics, let me show you around the cabin. You get into its cabin by holding this grab rail and it's quite a climb into this cabin and then you have this huge door to close and once you're seated you're actually greeted with a good view of the road and as for the creature comforts you have these seats which are slightly reclinable you get three point seat belts for the extreme passengers on the driver side and for the co-passenger on the extreme side the center one will have to make do with the lap belt and he doesn't even get a adjustable headrest or a headrest at all apart from that you get a blower control there's no ac mind you and you get some storage space below this there's a, a cd player with usb mp3 player and ac vents are like this you get vertical ac vents and then there's a lockable glove box here quite a sizable glove box Apart from that, the steering is uh, tilt adjustable, there's no telescopic function and you get a regular set of wiper stocks here on the left side and your headlight setup and indicator setup on the right side. Now let's go on for a drive. Driving the Pro 2055 EV will feel very different than a diesel powered truck. But first things first, this vehicle has a claimed ARAI range of 162 km from its 64.5 kWh battery pack. The clever part is that the battery is distributed in two parts, one on each side making it easy to replace or repair one if the need arises. Once you start driving it, it picks up very smoothly and cleanly and that's the whole point of being an EV feels just like an electric car obviously the size is not like an electric car so you need to be wary about it when you're driving it in tight confined spaces this being a last mile connectivity vehicle it has to have good maneuverability and it's actually amplified with this big windshield you get a nice view of the road you can see about everything and you do have blind spots because you can't see what's exactly behind you but these outside rear view mirrors give you a good view of the road. It's powered by a 122 bhp electric motor that displaces 310 newton meters of torque. Being an electric, it also offers the convenience of an automatic. When you are already up to speeds, you can't hear much at around 50 or 60 kph. All you can hear is the surface beneath you. Apart from that, it's dead silent and it will actually help the drivers who are putting in long hours driving this. Apart from that, this steering wheel is very light to use. So it's not exactly as heavy as you would expect from a commercial vehicle of this size. And it also helps in the maneuverability when you are in tight spaces because the turning radius is around 11.7 meters and it will actually help when you are driving in tight confined spaces. Pro 2055 EV can be charged by a 7.4 kilowatt AC charger in 10 hours while a 30 kilowatt DC charger will take three hours. Volvo Aisha claims that this EV can offer a running cost that's less than half of its diesel powered alternative. Thus, it is a good option for high frequency cargo movers in big cities where the roads are laced with stop and go traffic and tight spaces. But it's priced at double of the diesel version, which will make sense only if you want to limit your carbon footprint. Would you pick this EV over the diesel variant? Tell us in the comments.